Okay, a quick update for this May the 22nd. After, well, some wet times this week, this stretch, but anyway, so we're just forming up the uh, the house platform. This is just like raising this up to get to a creek level and compacting it. Uh, and of course, uh, doing all of our plumbing and that is the uh, the tube for the handicap bathroom there um and <laughs> no uh, the boots aren't for any use other than uh, keeping them dry anyway so that's the laundry area there so and shower and bath so lots of plumbing activity there this is the distribution for uh, half of the house now here we're putting in just cheap plastic poly pipe and then we're running our pecs inside that on this dedicated line system which is called a home run um, and that allows us that if anything strange should happen I'm always a little nervous when we're burying stuff under a concrete floor because if anything goes wrong underneath there it is ugly so anyways this is a way of allowing that well, first of all, with dedicated lines, it means you get the least amount of abandoned hot water uh, per line. Um, and nothing gets starved of water because you have a, a manifold here that's distributing it to all the lines equally. But that's the other big thing is with that dedicated line, if there's any problem in one line, you can pull the whole line out and replace it because the, the other the plastic tube is just acts as a sleeve. Um, and well one of the big problems in plumbing in costa rica is lack of ventilation well here there is a vent everywhere near a toilet um, so that each one uh, has there that's the smaller vent line so that everything can exit without uh, slowing down the flow um, anyways uh, well so that's uh, this is another distribution center here this takes care of the other half of the house uh, and the water coming in from the pump um, so this is in we haven't finished filling all of this in uh, here's you know another toilet and there's our one inch vent so that it can fuse and this goes out so there's a clean out that's buried under green there so if any anything strange ever happens it's easy to put a snake in there and push it all because this line goes all the way down the house and then does almost 180 to dump into the septic tank um, anyways uh, bedroom four toilet or bedroom three toilet and another vent here uh, shower there and this is the kitchen sink and um, barbecue counter mini sink and there's a clean out if any line ever gets problems, it's always the kitchen, so that clean out was, goes in underneath the, the cabinet, so it's not, and there's an extra vent added in there as well, tying in over to here so that everything breathes quite well. And we've spent these last two weeks doing a lot of polishing, so I don't know if this will show up. Okay. You can see the water laying on this. This is our, our stone, our fine stone. Uh, we polished the heck out of this so that, and then has a sealer on it, which just brought it to life big time. Uh, and uh, the other thing with the sealer, aside from it, it brings it to life, but you know, the big thing here is stopping lichens and molds growing on concrete well this stops it as you can see from 
this water here uh, that's there's no penetration there so anyways we tried this as a this is our first time we've done this um, and very pleased with all of our rock work is there is done around here and now we'll do be our rock work oh, can't see and we we have to had to lower the tarp here because rain is just blowing in and bothering us. Anyways, this is the nosings on the stairs coming down. We just this afternoon put on our first coat of impermeable. This is a a three part process that all goes on. I'll be doing. A section there's our stone carrying across there and that's where our tile will start and it was this is the first first layer there's two layer of an impermeable mortar and then a liquid applied I'll be doing a whole session on to add to the swimming pool videos just to say the least it is not a little bit important to not have a leaking pool um anyway so while well, we got our gravel came in now we're covering that up uh with our geo that's going to be going down on the gardens here next week um but keeping our gravel relatively dry and all of our black dirt is here to go up now you can see from here we've applied that same sealer to all of our molyhone rock so you can see <laughs> you can leave you to guess which level has the sealer on it and the same uh, our cap is uh, this cap has been sealed we did did that uh, this week to uh, uh, stop it from getting any dirt on it we started our our little our bodega that will be here to service the house as well as uh, the uh, renters one half for each um anyway so and we're going to start planting now that the season has changed here all of our fruit trees are going to be planted in here that may even be starting next week as well uh, but the same thing is to plant these upper gardens these terraces here and get some more bamboo growing across there to uh, sustain that hillside and beautify it. So with that, I shall sign off for this edition.